So CC10, risk 18, optimized strat. I yeah thought about it and got some sleep. And I figured out a better strat on this. So sleeping is important, guys. If you do not unlock the level 3 tag here, you can choose the level 2 one and then the level 2 DP tag. The DP pressure is going to be a lot higher though, so you need to bring E2, Texas, and Zima to deal with that. Now, Silver Ash and Searcher are essential. They have to be level 65 upwards and M3. Level 60 might also work, but just be safe, 65. Amiya can be replaced by Kirishi, Neural Altar, or uh, Fartooth, basically anyone that can ignore dodge. And I think Fartooth is the best, best choice here, because she does little damage but has high ASPD with her skill too. And that can chip away the boss's damage since the idea on this unit is to control the boss's HP. And Fartooth can do that the best, since she does little damage at a time. Yeah. Murdo is essential, she has to be E2 to heal the Vanguard, and Quaria can be replaced by Mountain, in that case you don't need Murdo at E2, but you do need extra Vanguards to get more DP, I think. Uh, Spot can be replaced by other Heating Defenders, and uh, Noir Corn is essential. 5 slots open, bring whoever you want to help clear the stage, and let's start. So I got to bed yesterday and then I thought about it in the bed and then today morning I tried out what I thought in the bed and first tried it worked, so yeah. You also don't have very strict skill timings anymore. Like Searcher will not get killed in two hits by Manfred and you have like a few more seconds to activate her skill, so that's good. Deploy Silver Ash once you can, deploy the Vanguard here once you can, activate Silver Ash's skill once you can. Activate Murdo's skill once you can. Retreat Silver Ash once he kills those tentacles. Deploy Noir Corn once all six enemies appear on the upper left corner. Deploy Searcher here. And uh, it's basically the same drill as the uh, previous strat. It's just higher HP on your units so that there is more room for error. Retreat Searcher once she kills all those four tentacles. Activate Murdo skill once you can. And we can go ahead and uh, switch Courier to the Heating Defender already. We should have done that e uh, earlier, but this would still do. The place over Ash once you can. I'm going to wait a few more seconds for the uh, uh, redeployment pot. Because I have that. And I want to simulate a zero pot situation. Activate Heating Defender skill to keep him alive. Activate Muro skill and Silver Ash skill once you can. To kill the enemies. Oh yeah, deploy Noir Corn here. I forgot, almost forgot. Almost screwed up. Yep, you have to deploy Noir Corn once he is ready to. Deploy Searcher here, facing left. Go to, yeah, to deal with those enemies. Activate her skill once you can. You can also face her right if you want. I don't like her dealing damage on Manfred because that's just RNG. And I don't like that, so I'm just gonna face her left. Oh, and uh, yeah, you don't need spot anymore. You can redeploy Coria to give you some DP. Oh, look at that! Uh, I think if we're, I mean Searcher dealt some damage on Manfred, but it's still fine. All right, pay attention on the artillery and. Yeah, if the artillery charges up before the caster enters the blue box, then you want to deploy Manfred before the caster enters the blue box, naturally. And if not, like right now, then you can just uh, deploy Norquan after the caster enters the blue box. And then activate Almias go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, if you're using Neural Altar, you want to deploy her here. And yeah, activate her skill once Manfred comes in range. 
And just remember to not kill Manfred. And same thing for uh, Kedoshi, monster here, facing up. You want to use someone to block him, Manfred, though. The Manfred uh, stays in monster's range for the skill duration. Yeah. Alright, that's enough damage. One seventh HP is good because the artillery does 3000 damage and Manfred has 20k HP. So one seventh, about one seventh. Redeploy the healing defender here. And now you just want to bid as many attacks from Manfred as possible so that the artillery charges. And this way, uh, Manfred will enter phase 2 with 0% artillery, and that is a lot easier to control the progress than uh, if you just kill him right off the spot. You can do that, but as I said, the artillery progress is way too hard to control. The plain arc one here. Oh yeah, and deploy Silver Ash here to let him get hit 5 exact time. 3, 3, 4... Five. Okay, that's good. To charge up the artillery. And once uh, Manfred enters the upper uh, left part of that tile, you can deploy a searcher. And yeah, she can tank two hits now. You can also use someone to help stall those guys. Oh, almost forgot. The, uh, yeah, stall. Only stall. Do not let the... Uh, Artillery hit that guy because otherwise the uh, tentacles on the left side are will not be dealt with. Uh, yeah, I almost forgot that. Could have start on this tile. You can split box the wait no you can't. Yeah. Well yeah just stall them but do not let the artillery hit them. That's probably the hardest part of the strand. Yeah. Deploy Myrtle here, again, to uh, get a uh, DP, uh, wait for those guys to charge up the artillery, and then deploy Silver Ash. I can deploy him now. He won't be able to kill them anyway. Deploy Coria here to block the death spawn later. And then deploy Noakorn here to bait the artillery, activate Silver Ash's skill once you can. And yeah, just like that. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. And uh, bye. Sleeping is important.